Okay, so she goes to the living room. So let's put that there. What happens after she... What does she do with the chairs? Okay, I know what happens. She braids it, so let's leave that there. She's so mean over here, right? She's still, she's still the same, right? So where do we leave that? I know the middle part always has the most information. She's still on her back, so she's going to you can put them on top of each other, and then we'll explain. Oh, so explain to me what happens. She breaks the chair, and then she goes where? And upstairs. Upstairs by the bed. And then what does she do? And then who comes? So the little bears come home, right? And then what happens? Who do they see? Okay, is she awake there? Does she wake up? So now she looks does she look scared? No? Well, remember when in the story it said Goldilocks woke up and she screamed? So she's scared over here, right? Our character now, Denise, our character Goldilocks, she changed now, right? Over here she was nice. Over here she was a little mean. She was not nice. Now over here she's scared. So where does that belong? In the middle or the ending? Because she changed. Yes. And then what happens? What happens to Goldilocks? She runs away. All right. So can you describe to me? Can you look at your pictures and then think about it in your head and then I'll come and ask you, okay? All right. Let's see you ask. So can you describe to me? You have Goldilocks. What is she doing? Walking in the woods. Walking in the woods. Knocks on the door. She's nice, right? In our beginning, our characters introduced, our settings introduced, and then we move on to the middle. Is Goldilocks, is she a different person now? Yes. She's not nice. So what is she doing? Eating the porridge, right? And then she finishes whose porridge? Baby bears. And then she goes into the living room. She tries. Papa's bear. Mama's bear. And she breaks. Now I see that you have this in the ending, right? Where she goes to the bedroom. But is Goldilocks still the same? She's still being disrespectful, right? She's eating their porridge. She's broken their chair. And now what? She goes where? Into the bedroom. So should that be in the middle of our story or in the ending of our story? Because the character is still the same. So remember we said when the character is the same, events are taking place in the middle. So where does that belong? When she goes to the bedroom, does that belong in the middle or the ending? The ending? So are you saying Goldilocks is different? Is she still being, is she being a nice person now? So where does that belong? Where do you think? The middle, right? When our characters change and now we can move to the ending. So now she goes to the bedroom and then what? She turns all through the bed. Can you put those over there? And then she falls asleep where? Now, how does Goldilocks look here? When, remember the story when she wakes up and she gets scared? So is she, did she change in that story? In this part? So where do you think that belongs to since our character changed? The ending? Because why? She's not nice, right? And she's not what? She's, she's nice over here, and over here is she nice? So, over here she's... Okay, what, what happens after the beer's time won't be lost? What does she do? She, she runs away, right? Alright, very good for her girls. And now, Janice, the beginning, remember? Can you explain to me how Goldilocks is in the beginning? Happy, nice, right? She looks happy, she looks nice. What about here, in the middle of our story? She's 
she's not when she's mean, right? She's disrespectful. In the beginning, our character is introduced, our settings introduced, and in the middle, our events are taking place, right? And Goldilocks changed. She was a nice girl, and now she's not nice, right? And then at the end, what happens? How's Goldilocks? She's scared, and she runs away. Very good. Okay.